Emerge Vlog there with another at an interesting topic. So this is the second installment in the series of top five. So we have decided to start do top five list of things, top five list of event in the music genre. It could be top five anything. Once it have something to do with music, probably we even go outside of the box in the future and do a top five outside of the music. But for now, we are staying within the music. So today, our top five is about the top five crooked, crooked whatever you may call it I mean I said this in a derogatory way neither um, I just too we can relate to these terms as it is so we are going to do the top 5 artists that has been addicted to drugs that sound better though yeah that has been addicted to drugs whether confirmed or accused yeah so we are going to do it and we are going to start with Gregory Isaac Mr. Night Nurse the cool ruler so they must say, you know, Gregory is a cult one of the person. Not they must say, I think it's confirmed. He's one of the confirmed person that was addicted to crack cocaine. I mean, I'm gonna read an article from one of them um, print media there and continue with the vlog. So let's start with Gregory Isaac, as I say. He served a six month prison sentence in Kingston in 1982 for possession of unlicensed firearms. Isaac claimed that he had the weapon only for protection, but it emerged that this was his 27th arrest and that he had become involved in drugs dealing and was addicted to crack cocaine. So that is an excerpt from an article that I got online and I think that is confirmation that Gregory Isaac was indeed addicted to crack cocaine. So he was one of the cocaine them in the music as people that call it. And as I said say earlier, I don't mean it in a demeaning way. We have a next article where we are going to read a little excerpt from. Now, this article is from The Observer online, we get it, and it reads Gregory Isaac once described his cocaine use as the greatest college he has ever, ever attended, yet the one with the most expensive tuition. On the sideline, witnessing his deleterious education was his wife, June, who confirmed his substance abuse when she caught him snorting cocaine at an hotel in Stonehill, St. Andrew in the, night, the late 80s. So you can see the unknown how we are fabricated. So moving right along, our second person on the list is Dennis Brown. Love and hate shall never be afraid. One of the great them, Dennis Brown, was also addicted to crack cocaine. And this is a part of an article that I found online about his cocaine addiction and it states February 1st, 1957 is the birthday of the Crown Prince of Frigate, Dennis Emmanuel Brown. Unfortunately, Jamaica and Indian world lost the musical treasure far too soon as he died on July 1st, 1999 at the age of 42. He had been battling a cocaine addiction for several years which led to both a career and a personal slide. Now the third person on our list is Desmond Valentine, we know him as Ninja Man, and he was the most popular cokehead. <laughs> and it's all that way, as we say, we don't know how to put it. We know why it's all like that. Disrespect the artist them because you know substance abuse. We don't think them did definitely want uh, to take up them thing upon them head, but you know some people got through stress, and you know the stress of being a celebrity or whatever. So probably things like them they lead to them become becoming addicted to cocaine. So we don't want to make it sound like. Yeah, disrespect the artist or not, but Ninja Man is the most popular one for this thing. Everybody call Ninja Man cocaine, this doctor. He may even come out and say, as a matter of fact, let me read the article when I find more Ninja Man. And it reads, I did coke for 10 years. Ninja Man say many artists were hooked on drugs in the 80s. Following news that iconic reggae artist George Nooks was charged with cocaine possession, veteran entertainer Ninja Man has admitted to the star that he took, crack, he took cocaine for 10 years before developing the strength to dish the habit. So that's how Ninja Man say. And actually, this article leads to the fourth person, which is George Nooks. As you see, George, um, Ninja Man was comment, commenting on an arrest relating to George Nooks. Who is a fourth person on list? Just remember that God is standing by. So, as stated, when we are doing the Ninja Man one, George Nooks was arrested and charged um, in relation to cocaine possession. So, George Nooks was charged, them take him in for 
questioning or whatever and them say George Nooks managed to get the bag the so-called bag as a matter of fact I'm going to the story them say George Nooks was approached by narcotics police at some plaza or something and while them are approaching George Nooks starts a plastic bag with a powdery substance resembling crack cocaine alright so I'll look at extra from the article I'm going to Nooks was taken into custody it is further alleged that while being processed at the police narcotics headquarters, he got all of the bag and swallowed the content. So, here you have it. The bag was made a bit earlier. Them say, Pan the Plaza, them say, Jad Nooks, while them approach him, them throw the bag with a powdery substance resembling crack cocaine. Them say, police they managed to retrieve the bag. Here I am to process him at the police narcotics headquarters as we just stated. And while them are processing him managed to get back the bag from them and swallowed the content <laughs> that sounds crazy but anyway um moving right along the fifth and final person last and not least on the list is driver don't stop at all mr gaga mill himself and me never really read the article about budget bantan because everything was out there in the public eye we know say budget bantan was set up by um, what them call them feds yeah so basically the feds was acting like they were actual drugs dealer so Buju Bantan them it's like them attack him long time or whatever so them so them put it out as them they attack him out then no say me not drugs dealing so them you know they don't really work like out here police them work like undercover cop and them say them when they really want to catch a person so and that them do with Buju Bantan and them actually there was a actual video out there I think the video is still out there you know, once something dip on the internet, it can't come down unless somebody take it down. And uh, when when persons decide to take them down, you know, say ten dollars money, ten million dollars person copy whatever and put it out. So as I said, the video is out there when Buju Bantan walk up, thinking of a sharp object resembling a knife, he use it for insert a hole in the bag and him actually taste the <laughs> powdery substance resembling crack cocaine. So we have the politically correct writers uh, or diplomatic as them say, you see me? So that 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 is that with Bojo Bantan and he was convicted for over ten years. So him and the next one way people kind of brand him as a cooking. Even when him come from prison, them say man when I'm son them catch up, I think a Marcus, that's Marcus Mary, the producer one, and he must call him cooking and him, it was a, it is alleged that Bojo Bantan boxed down Marcus. And even in recent, recent times, this is Sean Storm. I think it was about yesterday, he made a post and he made this up with Jack Allen, the most cooking. And he must say it was caused by a video that you see. Yeah, I mean, you know, probably see that video that you went. Cartel, Bunty, and Buju, they on the stage. And Cartel, uh, Cartel was a young artist at the time. And Buju grabbed the mic from him and pied, pied up in his face in a threatening manner. So Sean Storm must say, just see the video. And I saw so him run for social media. I want a man to privy to phone and then I mean, custody. Anyway, he may run for social media. I think on Instagram and I say, yo, cook it, boy, and he never see the video and a good thing say so the lick like whatever and the girls are never farm it. So I'm gonna go kick Buju in his face and be things. Actually, we probably have to do a video about that. But there you have it, the top five dancer slash reggae entertainers that has been accused or confirmed as being a cokehead, a crackhead, you know, yeah, so there you have it, thanks for watching the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, it's an emerge vlog, have some interesting topics over here, we know we now get the traction, where we're supposed to get our, we now say we're supposed to get like nobody, who we not still, but we would have loved to get, I think it's a better statement, but you know, not not before them time, time as well, we that say, and good things come to do so wait and if you want good you know as a friend so right now I run me know as a run because I'm up and do that video late 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 so we now start putting the work we see the channel that grow especially with the shorts video so you can check out the shorts video them as well you see me and as we say don't forget to like share and subscribe to Emerge Vlog thank you so much for watching I'm out